Yeah, we've been dealing with some uh, great conditions since this morning. Overnight, we had a coastal eddy set up as well as a deepening marine layer. But areas along the coast, you're going to see some break in the clouds. We're seeing that break right now across the Venice Beach area, where right now it is reporting partly sunny conditions. And we should stay anywhere mostly sunny, partly sunny, those of you along the coast. Further away from the coast, that's where we're going to see those clouds piling up. Those of you, especially along the coastal slopes, foothill, uh, foothill communities, up in toward the mountain communities, going to be dealing with mostly cloudy conditions and still the chance for some drizzle, some poor visibilities due to the fog. Neighborhood weather we go with temperature readings right now on the cool side, only 56 degrees right now in Marina del Rey, where the official low this morning at 52, 51, low in Oxnard right now at uh, 58 degrees, currently in the mid 50s in Seal Beach and in Sherman Oaks. As we go to the maps, we're dealing with some strong winds, though, those winds picking up, especially area shaded in blue. This is Apple and Lucerne Valley here, and we've got the Antelope Valley clocking winds between 20 and 25 miles per hour. Those are sustained wind gust uh, potential anywhere between 45 and 55 throughout the afternoon and lingering at least through early tomorrow morning. So what we have setting up, that onshore flow, very strong west to east flow as a trough to the north, continue to slide toward the south and east later on today. Eventually by tonight, the skies will begin to clear as high pressure starts to build in. High pressure right now over the eastern Pacific, but that is going to start to skirt toward the east and help push out most of these clouds. So an offshore flow expected to develop for Tuesday, and then that onshore flow will return Wednesday into Thursday. But hardly any moisture as we set things up for the next 24 to 40.